Welcome, welcome to Hangman Tarot. We're going to get started here with our celebrity reading. We're going to get into Alexandra Park. She's the wife of James Lafferty, which we just did. So go check out our Hangman Tarot on the playlist for celebrity readings. <laughs> yes, yes, Madeline, you are on time. I'm like, I'm on time. What are we talking about here? <laughs> I know I made it back too. Okay, so we are going to get into this reading. I'm very curious. I've already pulled the Oracle. So I'm like, oh, okay. So some things are already starting to come together in my brains, but we'll see. We'll see where we're at with the cards and the gut. The gut. Okay. So again, hit subscribe to Hangman Tarot before we begin. I am going to get into her astrology and who she is before we really start here and really begin. Um, okay. So she was born May 14th, 1989 on a Sunday and time is unknown and she is Australian. She's an Australian actress. She is a Taurus sun sign. Moon sign is a Virgo. Earth path is a one. And then a little bit more about her is that she is best known for her role as Claudia Hammond in the Australian soap opera Home and Away from 2009 to 2013. She's currently starring in the ETV drama the Royals as Princess Eleanor and her career. She started film and television in 2011 by being casted in Veronica, which was everything. Nobody knew that show existed. I freaking loved that show. Um, and the, the elephant princess. Hmm. That's weird. Okay. Totally went somewhere else for a minute. Um, in 2009, Park played Claudia Hammond in the soap opera Home and Away. During that time, she disappeared to an episode of Pack to the Rafters in 2011. She appeared as Sienna in the short film Ark. Hmm. Weird. Okay. All right. Going crazy, but it's fine. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Okay. So the the energy that I'm picking up from the Oracle reading is low in energy when it comes to fertility. So this could just, you know, be meaning that she's just not fertile today. Okay. And it's none of our business. God, I hate talking about this shit. Uh, so basically <laughs> if she's wanting to have babies, it's not today, but it, this could be indicating that again, she's in a place where she, the devil did show up. The devil card did show up. So this just is indicating to me that she is in a hopeless kind of energy, feeling a little hopeless, feeling a little upset and kind of like obsessed with whatever this could be surrounding. So again, making a baby or just trying to, you know, be fertile, um, IVF, um, adoption, who knows? But I feel like there's also I just feel like she takes on a bad rap sometimes because of her truth and her honesty. And unfortunately, this just makes it worse when she's feeling like shit because, you know, she can only choose the unknown, especially when it comes to fertility. So it does suck. But she does wear a mask of kind of like the villain mask, if you will, to others because she is so honest and direct and she don't fuck around. So she basically comes off, you know, as a super villain sometimes, which she's not. She's got a really big heart. Um, but the deep mental process she does is going through. Yes, honey. That is going to put you in a place where it's really hard to lead with the heart. It's more going to end up into that logic stuff. So it's really going to throw you off of track. Okay. So anything influencing her feeling just kind of out of sorts is something else. Some sort of truth about a Queen of Wands energy here. So there is a Queen of Wands energy. This could be fire energy. So this energy, there is some sort of truth, and that is the root of the matter. There is some sort of truth. Now, this truth could be distant, but I feel like it's something that is building, and I feel like it's something that she has been looking for, and it kind of, it's very much in the belly, too. It's just like she's on fire about it, whatever it is. Um, this could be something that helps maybe the fertility process or maybe just some truth about somebody that just kind of popped up. I'm not quite sure what this means. Give me a minute here. Choosing the unknown and anything influencing this choosing the unknown or this hopeless feeling is this queen of wands energy. 
could just be that spiritual stuff. Could just be the spiritual stuff. I just feel like the solitude, though, that she's getting the root of it is just the solitude and the information she's getting from that and the independence and the, the well-being and her trying to take care of herself. I just feel like this is aligning fertility wise. So it's just, it's screaming fertility to me. Okay. Anything going on in the past that is affecting this situation that she is in this place she's in. Well, for one, it's just not surrendering to putting action into something. So there's an experience here of trying to put power into something or to clear things up or to make things so that they're not, not being taken care of or not thought about. What is this? I feel like there was something where she couldn't decide or she wasn't clearly thinking about something. She wasn't able to. This is within the mind. Hmm. That wands energy just keeps coming in. <laughs> hmm. It had to do with something with the the Knight of Wands in reverse. I just feel like because of the fertility issue and the health issue, aligning with just not surrendering to, you know, kind of letting go and allowing some sort of process to happen. But it's like she couldn't clearly think or choose a direction because. Honestly, she could have been burnt out, exhausted, or had some sort of illness. So this has a lot to do with the fertility. It's linking to me. I mean, and again, she didn't want to go kind of like, she didn't want to fall off track. She didn't want to fall off track as far as work either. This is weird. Okay, so anything going on upcoming as far as this situation and what is the likely outcome of that situation? That young person popped up. The Queen of Cups energy too. That is weird. That literally just happened in her husband's. Okay, so I think she upcoming is going to get through this, you know, obviously as best as she can. She's going to try to continue to build, seek out what she needs to. She's determined to be on this path, especially because this is really surrounding that Queen of Cups energy, that connection, that calm, that serene, that relationship and that kind of like leading with the heart and just allowing the intuition to guide her. But I feel like this has a lot to do with spiritual and maybe just the wellness of herself overall. But again, the fertility stuff. So just leading the way here. I just, I think that this is just going to come full circle. And the root of it is, yeah, a new normal. What is that? That was so creepy. I don't know what that was. I think it might have been my phone. I don't know what that was. It creepy. Oh, it gave me the heart attack. It gave me that heart attack I get. <laughs> okay, so the root again overall in this upcoming is this is going to come to balance eventually or, you know, coming into moving past that new normal and just getting comfortable in a different kind of circle or situation or family life even. But I feel like this is definitely depending on her again, just the emotion here. She's got her shit on lockdown. She's pretty balanced as far as like keeping that. Anyway, so the root of it is again. There's nostalgia here with whatever this new normal is. So she's already dealt with this new normal. She's already been down this route. This is something she has been able to deal with in the past. And it's she's dealing with it right now. And this has to do with the physical body. So this is fertility or that illness. What is the likely outcome here? I want a fear and I want a hope. The fear is that this is not going to start over. The fear is because she's really good at reinventing, kind of building back up from the ground, if you will. So this is a fear that, you know, the world won't make sense again. She won't be able to come right side up again. She won't be able to see the colors again and see the silver lining once again. The fear here is to get lost in this withdrawing because there's she's going to withdraw. She, she has to. She's going to have to take a break for something. She's going to have to go into kind of a isolation or solitude. Um, the fear is getting stuck there or getting into stuck in a depression or withdrawn completely. 
but that light is still there. She's leading with, oh, she's got a lot of light. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Whatever this is, it's worrisome in my mind, in my head, I guess. Okay, so bottom line, likely outcome. Moving into January, headed into our theme also. Okay, so upcoming, it's again, she's just going to continue to keep looking ahead because there's something specific here that is very much that she's needing. So she's kind of waiting and she's like, I don't really care what the fuck's going on. I just want this. And she's focusing. She's honing in on something. She's she's a damn earth sign. So that's just what she's doing. Um, I do feel like she doesn't really care with or without whatever. It's not a big deal. That is very much influencing the situation of her just kind of getting through this. <sighs> kind of just, again, exhausted, physically burnt out, physically like not feeling well. She's not, she doesn't feel well. And this could, again, have to do with the fertility. It could just be like general sickness or like just physically just kind of tired from working out. I don't know. But I feel like she doesn't really care, like kind of like the pack she's running in. Because again, she kind of created a different one, a different circle, a different network of people, reliability, safety, a place she can call home, secure. And the root of this entire situation for upcoming January is the fact that she does not care what's in front of her. She's looking ahead at something. She's focusing on something specific, okay? And the theme for her month or for her year of 2023 is closure, completion, coming to the ending stages or the end stages or the chapter is shut. And along with this is finding stability and nestling in and taking care of oneself and taking care of one's heart and allowing herself to take care of that inner child as well. And just kind of curl up and take care of her own fucking well-being. It's super, super important. And just being as communicative as possible through the process of whatever it is she's going through or her and her husband are going through. So I wish her luck and him luck as well um, on whatever it is that they're endeavoring. This is a heavy reading. So I am going to get out of here. I'm going the hell to bed. <laughs> I'm eating and going to bed. Excuse me. Okay. Please go ahead hit subscribe. I hope that you enjoyed this heavy reading and um, click the bell so you don't miss any of the, our next heavy readings. Um, other than that, please go ahead, subscribe, check out my links in the deeds below. I will see you all later.